Today we're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit game. What is the Holy Spirit game? Well, think about what you were taught your entire time as a Jehovah's Witness. You were taught that you had to somehow earn God's Holy Spirit, to be blessed with His Holy Spirit by the things that you did or did not do, right? So if you committed something that was considered a sin, you were told that you lost Jehovah's Spirit. Basically that Jehovah didn't listen to your prayers and you were just in a space of darkness because you had no Holy Spirit on you. There were other times when you probably thought that you knew Jehovah so well and you were just being blessed with his Holy Spirit and you could feel it, right? Well, let me tell you something. In both cases, this was in your head. When you felt like you lacked God's Spirit because maybe you committed something that was considered a sin, what was happening is that you were judging yourself. Hence, you were feeling bad for what you did. You were out of alignment with what you were wired with. Your actions on the outside was out of alignment with your wiring on the inside. Hence, it makes you feel bad. And when you think about all the people that you judged, because Jehovah's Witnesses tend to be very judgmental, all the people that you judged who had done the same thing, of course you're going to judge yourself. Some of you might be Jehovah's Witnesses right now watching this video feeling bad about what you're doing because what you're doing is out of alignment with what you've been taught to do. You've been told never to watch these videos, so you feel kind of bad doing it and you feel like you don't have God's Spirit, but that's called self-judgment. You're doing it to yourself. Now, when you felt good, like you had God's blessing and uh, you felt so close to Jehovah, like God was blessing you, well, that means that you were in alignment with the wiring that was in you, that your actions as a Jehovah's Witness was in alignment with the wiring you had. So you got a lot of pats on the back and you felt good because you were in alignment. And I don't care what you do, it has nothing to do with religion. When your inner world and your outer world is in alignment, there's a certain flow that you get to life. This is how you manifest things in life. When you really believe in what you're doing without a shadow of a doubt, you tend to bring to you the things that you think about. So if you're a Jehovah's Witness and you're feeling like you have God's spirit and you're out there starting Bible studies, you're starting those Bible studies because you believe you will. So what you think will happen will happen. You can use this for anything, anything. If you think something's gonna happen and you're in alignment with it, it tends to come to you. So it had nothing to do with God. This is called universal law. You can be an atheist and these same things will happen in your life. It has nothing to do with your spirituality. What is spirituality? Spirituality is an inside job. When you really get in touch with yourself, you will begin to feel the oneness with everything else. And if you believe in God, you'll feel the oneness with God also. You'll feel the oneness and spirituality comes from within. Then it attaches out. It's not an outside separate thing from you. This is universal law. Once you understand this, you can start to break free from judging yourself. It has nothing to do with God's Spirit. If you want to run back to the organization to get God's Spirit, no. You want to run back to get in alignment with something you're, you're dealing with right now. But if you really want to take a different path in life, you have to rewire your inside so you don't have that conflict. And then you will be in alignment. Now you can be on your path to happiness. All of this stuff is in your head. And if people do understand mind control and you have an organization that understands mind control, they understand this. You're doing these things to yourself and has nothing to do with Holy Spirit. I hope this video touched some of you, okay? Because this is where a lot of people struggle. It's with self-judgment. It's because you have judged other people for so long and now it's you that is in the position. Let go of self-judgment. Begin to rewire yourself. You know, we'll talk about that, those things in subsequent videos. But 
Thank you for watching. I'm committed to helping you become the very best person you can become. The best version of you is what we're after. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.